This particular video is for those of you that are looking for a master degree program to apply to here in Finland. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you one of the schools that are offering master's degree program for the September application period. That's for autumn application period. This school is not in the joint application. So for those of you guys who already watched my previous video, there are going to be a very limited amount of schools that will be participating in the joint entrance exam or joint application. So most of the schools are going to do their thing by themselves. So like separate admissions. And that's why I'm bringing this school to your table because they have a master degree program that you can apply to and start your studies in January. So if you're looking forward to such video, stick to this one. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lovet. In this channel, we discuss about, you know, studying in Finland, moving to work in Finland. We talk about European countries and, you know, everything in between. So if you're looking forward to where you are going to be getting back to back information about Finland and European countries based on studies and work, then this is the channel for you. Yes. So if you like any information I'm going to share today, don't forget to hit it a like button so that, you know, YouTube can recommend our videos to other people who might need this information I'm sharing right now. So let's get over to my laptop and I'm going to share you everything about this master's degree program. Oh my goodness. Are you excited? Because I am. I have had a lot of you guys asking for this and here it is. Okay, so stay tuned. So guys, I am going to be very snappy in today's video because we'll be covering few programs and few schools. So it's not just going to be one school. So the first school we'll be discussing today and also the program we'll be discussing today is this uh, school, Arcada University of Applied Sciences. They have master's program in Arcada and here we can go down to see uh, a bit in more information on the master's program that they offer okay they have lots of them that they offer as you can see right here but we are talking about the one that you can apply now or pretty soon so here is the application they have on the 26th of july till the 3rd of august this year additional application for leadership for nordic healthcare part-time and full-time this is master's in healthcare for those of you guys that studied nursing or anything related to nursing or of course healthcare physiotherapy whatever this application is definitely for you and then in september the 6th till the 18th they are going to have an another additional application for energy automation sustainable engineering full-time study so these two master's program is what's going to come up pretty soon now we are going to talk a bit about let's say the one for healthcare, just to review what they require and stuff like that. So how to apply to leadership for Nordic healthcare. Now we are going to review their requirements and then we know if we are eligible or not. So the, you fill the application online, you can read a bit more here. I'm going to leave the link of this school in the description box of this video. So eligibility says that before starting your master's application process to Arcada, please make sure that you are eligible applicant. And that means having a suitable bachelor degree and a two year work experience. Now, if you're wondering if your educational background is enough, they made mention of all the educational backgrounds that you can have and that will qualify you to apply for this master's program. They said if you have any bachelor's within nursing, midwifery, public health nursing, occupational therapy, uh, emergency care, physiotherapy, sports and physical education, or social care. These are the backgrounds that they deem eligible to apply for this master's in, 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 in health care. Now, two years of work experience. All applicants must have it. Uh, a two-year work experience that is relevant, of course, in the discipline. They also said that you have to get a work certificate from your employer to prove your work, that your CV is not enough. They said clearly that they do not ask any proof of language proficiency for this study. That means that you do not have to provide any ILTS or anything proving your language ability. Now, they said student selection process. How do they select people? 
So the basic requirement is that you submit your certificate and your transcript of record and also a motivational letter that has two to three page and also a video. This is all you need and you submit that to the application and you stand a chance to be selected. The thing about this particular program is that it's online. So if you're looking for a program that will bring you in Finland, that's not just about getting your education, then this particular program, which is this particular master's in nursing in Arcada is not for you because it's fully online. That means if you get admitted that you will be in your home country or wherever you are residing and complete this program online. So let's move forward. There are other ones that you have to be present in school. And that brings us to the second degree program organized by the school. Energy Automation Sustainable Engineering. That's the one that is going to come in September, that your application will start in September. So this is the same kind of, the same school, the same kind of requirement. Eligibility, you have to be a person that studied or have a bachelor in engineering and two years of work experience. The same requirement, no need or proof of English language proficiency. Selection based admission method. So they have the requirements and the tasks that I want you to do. And then after that, you are going to either be selected or not. So you read through the details from this website. Now let's move to the second school that is offering masters as well. I know a lot of you guys have asked me a lot about this masters and I had to dig all these things up because of course you guys are a special part of my audience so why not. Now we are going to JAMK or YAMK as said in Finnish. This is the Uvascular University of Applied Sciences. They have master's programs in English as well, and they have actually one that is ongoing right now. So let's take a look at what they have right now. They have a master's program that specializes in sports business management, MBA, as you can see right here. So this master's program is fully in English, and the application is already ongoing. It's like 1st of July, Till the 31st of July. So if you are interested, you apply just immediately after this video. Now, if you go down, it's saying a bit more about the about the program. And also, this particular school has a different admission criteria for master's program, unlike this school that I just shared. They have that you have to partake in an online entrance examination. That's their own admission method, okay? So I'm going to go a bit down so fast so that we could see all that there is to know, basically. You are going to read more from this website because I'm going to leave it in the description box of this video. So here it says that entry requirements how to apply in this july supplementary application so here it says application period when to apply and attach the required enclosure which is your degree and work certificate how to fill the application form is here you can click that to see more if you click on entry requirements you just click on this plus sign and it's going to show you what they need from you so two years work experience and of course a bachelor in relating to sports or field of hospitality or business or natural sciences here is the entrance examination content and pre-reading material so they are going to organize an entrance examination and they have pre-reading material for that to prepare you here is the pre-reading materials pre-reading material one pre-reading material two and pre-reading material three. Applicant English language skills will be assessed as part of the entrance exam. So there is no need for you to bring an IELTS as well in this school. I hope you found value in this information I shared here. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that we can get recommended by YouTube. Thank you so much and see you all in my next video. Bye guys.